It's your boy Warlow back with another mod team video. And we are going to review all the cards that come into tomorrow's set. I'm guessing that it updated by now. I mean, it's literally... Yeah, we got a Dunktober event. So I'm interested to see what... What is that going to be about overall? A Dunktober Jokic coming? I don't know, but... But yeah, you lock in the set as usual. You get a 95 plus pack, just like the Zion set. I really still don't understand why the Zion set's the way it is. It's 92. So there's a lot of interesting names to say the least. We looked at Paul George yesterday. So we just go over real quick. Like Paul George, absolute peace. 11 Hall of Fame badges. Like we, we went mainly over it. I guess you want to give a move. A movable, a movable price tag is going to just be high this year. He needs rebound chaser. Probably unpluckable, but rise up but he's an absolute beast would love him to update Giannis badges because why does Giannis only have five hall of fame badges? i mean lebron only has five but i feel like it should be more he's gonna need set shot specialist shifty shooter limitless you know a couple badges like that Giannis an absolute beast though if you can get him and Dwayne way that point guard is probably gonna need what is gonna need paint prology slippery off ball maybe limitless rise up I mean, Dwayne Wade's a beast, too. It's a three ball, 84. Yeah, he's a 85, 85 block rating. That is really good. That is really, really good on a point guard. Most point guards do not have a good block rating. So, the fact that he has... Wait, this set is only... Oh, go ahead. Did I, okay, 20, it's only 22 cards. Which, that's one thing I noticed. There's only 22... Oh, you can... Okay, there's only 22 cards in this set. And there's only one Amethyst, so I'm interested to see. Oh, there's... Yeah, there's only one Amethyst, so I'm interested to see whether it be an exchange set for that one Amethyst. But but we get into the review of these cards, though. So, first up, I mean, we got, did we, did we look at Jalen Green? I don't think we looked at Jalen Green yesterday. I mean, we did, we did. Let's look at the new cards. Okay, we got Amethyst, Dominique Wilkins, a Dunktober shooting guard, 6'8 shooting guard. Wait, 6'8? What was Dominique 6'8? Okay, bye, bye. Well, I'm being real. Bro, when, when was Dominique Wilkins 6'8"? Wait, Dominique Wilkins height, unless I'm having a Mandela effect, wait. Bro, he's 6'8"? I, 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 bro, tell me in the comments section if you remember Dominique Wilkins being 6'8", because I'm having some Mandela effect, okay? That, and I don't recall him being 6'8". He got 90 driving dunk, 84 ball handling, speed 87. I mean, Dominique ain't bad. I'm going to tell you about Dominique, though, is his jumper isn't ideal. I'm being honest. I use his jump shot. But for a 6'8 shooting guard, if he's not an exchange set, which I'll be really surprised, this card is really solid as an Amethyst card. Like, he looks really good on paper for an Amethyst. His jump shot could be better, but for 6'8 shooting guard, he's one of the better 6'8 budget cards you can get. That's assuming, I, assuming there's no exchange set, because there's an exchange set, he's going to be up in price, which I think there is, because he's a 6'8 shooting guard. Yeah, they're going to have an exchange set. Steve Francis up next. He's going to be pretty cheap. 90 driving dunk, and you get a 6'3 point guard with 90 driving dunk. See, Steve Francis, the issue with Steve Francis is that jump shot. We got to see what that jumper's about. 85 perimeter, 78, but you can just buy Austin Rivers, though. 88 for speed, like, he looks good on paper. Posterizer, but like I said, that jumper. Steve Francis historically recent years has not been all that great. I'm just being honest. He just hasn't. Did they give him on ball menace? Yeah, he's gonna need on ball menace. Slippery shooter. He's gonna need a lot of badges at that point. I would just suggest getting Austin Rivers. He's gonna be cheap, but I'm not I'm not a big fan. I, I think Steve Francis might be good. We gotta see the release. But I think he's kinda mm, you know. I just know there's not that many cards in this set. I'm just noticing, like, there was 45 cards. So I guess they're going to, like, go from 45 to 20, then to 45 to 20. You know, they're doing, like, a little bit of a trend. So D. Brown up next should have a diving dunk. At least everybody has a driving dunk. 95 driving dunk, 89 ball handling. Low perimeter. 92 speed. I mean, that defense. Four goals. I ain't, I ain't feeling this. I ain't feeling them. I ain't feeling D Brown. I'm being honest. I ain't feeling D Brown. Now maybe he has the best jump shot ever, but I don't know. I ain't, I ain't feeling that. I ain't feeling that card. Gold card, six five shooting guard, not bad. Sixty two three pointer on his shooting guard. That makes me want to click off right away. Now horrible defense. Who is this card for? What are we even looking at? Okay, Nate Robinson. 
Is this just troll? Like, 95 driving dunk, 86. I mean, perimeter defense don't matter. He's like 5'6". Eight gold badges. He's like, I mean, what do I even say to give this dude? He's too short. Okay, Sean Kemp. I would love him to update some of his defense. He has Posterizer, right? Yeah, Posterizer, Pogo Stick, Rise Up, Rebound Chaser, Poet, Lighting Launch. I mean, 95, 95 driving dunk. Like we looked yesterday, that defense is just atrocious. So I don't like the defense. I'm just being honest on Sean Kemp. His jumper I've seen in Tiesville isn't as great as it usually is. It's just I feel like he... This Kevin Martin's going to be really good. I don't want to look at his defense. 39 free point, 86 ball. And we didn't look at his stats. Great defense. Yeah. Kenyon Martin's a base. I, I, really, I might run this car for... I got to see what his release is like, but... On old, because I, I run K-O-T, K-O-T-C-K, I mean, whatever you call it, on there, and, um, and this Kenyon Martin looks like a base, I'm being real, he looks really good as a card, like, I got great defensive badges, if you want to upgrade him, like, even more, you probably want to give him on ball minutes 100%, that badge is gonna be expensive, I'm warning y'all now, I, I might, I might go check and see if I can get any of the badges for cheap, like, can I, can I get on-ball minutes for cheap? Because that badge is going to be so dang expensive. So dang expensive. Like, uh, uh for bronze. Bro, it's like 6K a pop. Yeah. If you got that badge, go sell it. Go sell it, but yeah, King of Martin's a beast. Billy Thompson. So he's 6'7", small forward. Has a 75'3", not bad. 60 ball only, okay. 95 driving dunk, 62 steal, 57 steal, 52. Oh, God. No, nah, this car stinks. Like, that car stinks. Larry, can he play small for it? He cannot play small for it. I know he's going to have a 75 free ball, high driving dunk, good ball handling. Defense, not bad. This card is actually solid. Or a Sapphire. I think Larry Nance has a good jumper, too. This card is overall solid. Comes badged up pretty good. As high flying defender, you probably said he, he needs a couple badges. You kind of would want with set shots so he can bang more shots. But overall, I like the Larry Nance Jr. I, I think he's a really. Oh my God! I know some. I know. I know some. Of my. I know Ryan in my comment section. Let I me mean, not comments. Twice chat. Carlo two two one. That he likes. Uh, he's swirl five. I think he says swirl five. I can't say his name. Swirl five. Swirl, swirl fire Smith. Or what, whatever you call his name. Thirty one three point. They did him dirty with that one. I ain't gonna lie. A 6'10 smile for it with only a 33 is kind of doing him dirty. Unless, and maybe he has good interior though. He could be a good inside. Okay, eight, 36 perimeter? So they're not even attempting to make this guy good, right? 82 speed, 78 speed with ball, good shrimp. I mean, we gotta see the jumper. 36 perimeter though, that is horrible. Like, especially in this game, that is really bad. Can you run that small for it? Why would you run that small for it? You can't guard the perimeter. Yeah, I don't know how to feel about this car. He, stat wise, he has some things going for him. I'm on the mid with him. 6'5. I swear his height change. But 78, 96 driving dunk, 83 ball handling, perimeter defense, 49 interior, 89 speed. I mean, he's alright. Only thing about Sharp is he typically doesn't have the greatest release in the world. So just remember that. And we gotta just oh Miles Bridges. Miles Bridges is gonna be good. He has a he has a solid jumper, right? Okay, one badge he comes with two golds. I should be a higher and it said 90 driving dunk, 76 ball handling, 40 steal, 59 perimeter. Man, I thought he was gonna be good because his jump. I know Miles Bridges has a good type of jump shot, but for offline, he's cool. But I'm I'm not I'm being honest, I ain't seeing much on this dang platter. Like Fred Jones, 6'2, 64, 3 point me. Bad he has three. I fly defender. Why do I give him a high fly? He needs on ball menace. 2K, like I said, I noticed that they're not giving no one on ball menace. Like, nobody on ball menace. It's kind of like annoying as that. He has a 73 pointer, 92 driving dunk. Not bad. He's that perimeter. Or a gold card offline. This ain't bad. Because you could be like, you can green his shot, but one badge. Like, what are we doing? Dennis Smith Jr. Used to be really good. Posterizer, Aerial Wizard, Dead Eye. I think he has a good jump shot. I could be wrong. 6 2. Good three-pointer, good driving dunk. I think as a offline card, this card is fine. Online, 25 interior, good luck. That is awful. But, yeah, just he's all right. -ish. So, looking at this set, to be real with you, 
like that we went through this set pretty 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 fast honestly and i mean the top 10 cards are great Giannis, paul george wade are actually amazing jalen green's amazing donovan mitchell i don't think we looked at him he's a 92 i think we did yesterday i looked at him a little in ty's video but yesterday but two hall of fame badge limitless I mean, Donovan Mitchell's going to be Donovan Mitchell, but he's missing so much. He's going to need a move ball. He's going to need on ball. Eight prowlers you probably want on him. He's going to need a lot of badges. But, yeah, I mean, the, the high-end cards are good. The low-end cards are just Larry Nance is good if you want your budget card. You know, offline card, Miles Bridges, Dennis Smith. But I'm being real honest with you. This drop is just not that good for budget players. 84 speed. Imagine this guy, this guy with 84, 3, 3 more 74. Yeah, you're not going to want to use them offline. Yeah, Wiggins is still going to be good. Obviously, his jumper could be better on his other car, but he's going to be great. You like, he's he has 82 interior. Only thing he has got going for him is 62 strength. And strength is not that end of the world, to be quite honest. But yeah, that is the review, though. That was. I said that was a very quick reveal, to be quite honest. This drop is not... If you can't afford the diamonds or the top end cards, or if Dominique has an exchange and it's expensive, well, this set's really not not much flavor on the platter, to be quite honest. But, yeah. Say y'all the next my team video. And give me a key!